OMG y'all, I am so excited that you decided to click on this video because I have several Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs that you're not going to want to miss. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay friends, for the first DIY, we're gonna start off with four frames from Dollar Tree. And I just start off by taking all the plastic off of them and then taking the back out of them with the paper as well. Now I saw this DIY on TikTok from the amazing Lou Flores. Go over, check her out. She is absolutely gorgeous and she makes the most gorgeous DIYs. And once I saw this, I knew that I just had to have it. So like I said, once I took all the plastic off and I took the back out, I did not save these. I ended up throwing these away. Um, but if you guys have a DIY in mind, you could totally save them. Once I had all the backing out and I had the plastic out, then I take the glass out of the picture frames and I just lay them out so that I can do this next step. I take my white Waverly chalk paint and just a regular paintbrush and I dab off the excess and then with the paint that was left over on the brush, I just dab the paint all the way around each one making this look like snow. Next, I take these DIY 3D craft kits from Dollar Tree and I just take out the pieces that I wanted. Now, I wasn't too sure which pieces that I would use. I knew that I would use the trees and the house, so I just kind of laid them out. And here, I'm just showing you how this is supposed to be if you were to make the project that is inside of this little kit. But for this project, I put the other pieces to the side and I painted the trees as well as the house with my white Waverly chalk paint. The easiest way I found to do this was to use the dabbing motion as well. Now you can paint it like I'm doing here. However, when you do that, the paint kind of wants to go on the sides and like bubble up and it's just a mess. So I just found that by dabbing, it is much easier to do. Once again, I do the exact same thing to the snowflakes that I got from Dollar Tree as well. For the house, I knew that I wanted it to be painted gold. Now, if you guys have not figured it out, I'm DIYing in my kitchen right now. I just had a baby seven weeks ago, so it's kind of hard to get out to the she shed, and it was two in the morning. I did not want to run outside for gold paint, so I just used my Chalkator chalk paste, and I just dabbed the chalk paste on the house, cover it, and then I set that aside to dry. Next, I'm gonna lay all the frames out the way that I want it, and then I use some hot glue and some large jumbo popsicle sticks to attach this frame together. Now these frames from Dollar Tree, I don't know what type of material this is. However, 
hot glue does not like to stick to it so i do make sure that i am very very generous with my hot glue when gluing these frames together and because three popsicle sticks would not fit down the middle i did have to cut one down to make it fit Next, I lay the glass pieces back into the frames and then I'm just going to attach those with some hot glue. When you do this step, you want to make sure that you are very careful. After you hot glue it, do not press down too hard on the glass. I made that mistake and my glass did crack. Now, it did not shatter, thank God, because I did not have an extra frame and I was freaking out when I did it. But I like to leave my mistakes in to make sure that y'all don't make the same mistakes. And just to show you guys that I make mistakes just like the rest of them. I am not a perfect crafter and I don't know if I can do the things until I try it. So I just always like to encourage you guys to step outside of your comfort zone and to try things that you would have otherwise not tried because you'd be surprised at the things you guys can do. I know that if I can do it, you guys can do it as well. And also, don't make the same mistake of gluing your frames together on a piece of paper because as you can see here, I had another boo-boo and it was just a mess. It was late. Um, these days crafting is pretty interesting, but just don't make that same mistake and you'll be fine. Once I have all of my glass pieces glued down, now it's time to decorate. So I lay out all of my pieces where I want them prior to hot gluing. Now hindsight is always 2020. So looking back, I definitely should have attached these pieces with some like super glue or something that you would not be able to see from the front. Now, hot glue did work, but because this is glass, a few of my snowflakes kept falling off. So if I did this again, I would definitely attach the frame pieces with some heavier glue as well as hot glue. I would also use super glue for the wood pieces. Now, because I wanted this to be kind of like a 3D effect, I did make sure to kind of layer the trees. I also used some wooden stickers from Dollar Tree as well to fill in the blank spots. I'll show you that here in a second. But for the next step, I'm gonna take these lights from, I almost said Dollar Tree, from Amazon, which are always linked in my Amazon shop in the description box, as well as the pinned comment. And I always make sure that the lights work before I glue anything on. So I turn them on, unravel them, and then I start by hot gluing. Now, once again, <laughs> hindsight is 2020. I should have started this in a different direction because you're going to see here that going around each frame piece, I did end up having to double up the lights um, in certain sections to be able to reach the next section, if that makes sense. I don't really know if anything I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> per usual, I'm a busy mama of four, and these days, I don't know if I'm coming or going. So anyway, just bear with me. I appreciate y'all more than you could literally ever know. Um, but I just attached my lights all the way around each frame with some hot glue, and I'm going to show you here. Now, some of the lights did not like reach the corner so when I went around it would have wanted to go like away from the corner if that makes sense so when that happened I did just bunch up the wire glue that down to make sure that the lights were in the area that I wanted it and then I also attached the battery pack to the popsicle sticks with some hot glue, making sure that I can access the on and off button. And this did take three strands of lights all together, and I get them in a big pack, so that didn't really bother me too much. And then here I'm just showing you that I took off the pop dot from the wooden stickers, sanded down that excess that stayed behind, and then glued those down into place with some hot glue.
And just like that, you have an absolutely stunning high-end gorgeous winter decor piece or Christmas piece, whatever you would like to call it. I absolutely love this so much. My daughter already claimed it. She said, mom, can we put this in my room? Of course I said yes. Um, so I'll definitely have to remake one for myself. If you guys remake this, would you make it colorful or would you make it neutral? Let me know down in the comments below what you think and what color you would make yours. If you guys are enjoying this video, I would be so grateful if you would hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this out. Let's jump back in. For the next DIY, I'm going to take all of these houses from Dollar Tree. Y'all, I am actually super impressed with the new cobblestone corners this year. They have so many different varieties. They all light up. I'm just so impressed with all of the new items with the quarter increase. I actually really appreciate it. So let me know what y'all think. Are you kind of mad at the quarter increase or are you okay with it? being as though they are getting better items but of course it's only a dollar 25 and a lot of the roofs were coming away from the actual house so i did just reattach those with some super glue and then for this little truck i wasn't too keen on that big tree that looked cartoonish so it was super easy to remove it was just attached with some hot glue and i just kind of pushed it back and forth until it came out of the back of the truck i then painted the truck white as well as all of the houses i painted those white as well and i did give those about two to three coats making sure that they were entirely covered Now for the truck, it was kind of hard to paint the edges where the windows are. So I thought that it would be really cute to just do the exact same thing we did in the first DIY and just kind of put some faux snow on the windows. I then take three crates from Dollar Tree as well as this wooden sign. I take the hanger off of this I take <laughs> I take the hanger off the sign and then glue the boxes together. Next, I take a scrap wooden dowel and I just glue that to the edge of the wooden sign and then I glue those all together. And I do that because this sign is super thin and I knew that if I tried to glue the sign to the boxes, it wouldn't really hold very well because there's not much to glue to. So the square dowel is just giving me a little extra space to glue to my boxes. Once I glued those together, I made sure that it was not stuck to the paper this time, so I let it sit up to dry, and then I take the stickers off the boxes and paint it with my white Waverly chalk paint. Originally, I was going to leave these completely white. I just loved that look. However, when I was looking at these houses, I did not want all of those gorgeous little details to go to waste. So all I did was take my Dixie Belle Voodoo Stain and my chip brush that are linked in my Amazon shop, once again down in the description box or in the pinned comment, and I just lightly dry brushed that Voodoo Stain all around my houses. I started out very light handed, and then as I went along, I added more and more to get the look that I personally like. But as always, if you guys do not like distressing, you can totally skip this part. This is just personal preference. 
Now that these have lights from Dollar Tree, I have so many ideas for these little houses. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a different version of a village or are you guys over Christmas decor DIYs? Let me know because I'm curious to know when you guys stop crafting for Christmas. Now this was just an idea and I did not end up using it, but I figured I would show y'all in case you wanted to try to incorporate this in your DIY. But I thought that it would be super cute to do this little nativity scene kind of in my town. Now it was a little bit too big. I felt that it looked too big against my houses. Um, you know, like the houses were just way too small, if you will. So I did not end up using it, but don't make the same mistake that I made here, y'all. I ended up gluing all my houses down, and then I realized, duh, Melissa, how are you even going to turn your houses on? So I did end up having to pull up my houses, which was no big deal, but just don't make the same mistake that I did. Next, I took this little road that I got from Dollar Tree, and I cut that down, and I should have picked up several of these, but at the time when I was shopping, I knew that my baby boy was out in the car and he was hungry. So I knew that he would be screaming any second and I was kind of in a rush. So I did end up just picking up one, which is no big deal because I just cut this down so that way um, I could use the other pieces and I glue that down right where you see me gluing it. And the truck and the camper covered that back piece. That's why I was not too worried about covering it. But if that bothers you, then you could totally pick up several of these to make sure that your entire road is covered. Once I was done that piece, then I just kind of mark where I need the rest and cut those down and glue those down as well. And this is the fun part where you get to be creative, put your own spin on this, arrange these the way that you like, add or take out things. I have so many more ideas for this, but you guys, I was on a time crunch. I literally stayed up till four in the morning DIYing this, and I probably would have kept going. However, I said, Melissa, your son is going to be getting up soon, and you need to be awake enough to take care of him so you better go to sleep <laughs> um, but if it wasn't for that I definitely would have stayed up and kept adding to this but yeah that's the fun part you can be creative and you can build your village however you like so for the next part I took these little mini fence pieces which are so stinking cute anything mini if you've been around for any amount of time then y'all know I'm a sucker for anything mini and these little fence pieces literally are so stinking cute they got a little wreath and just the way that they are put together I'm very impressed for a dollar 25 per pack if you will so I just started by laying them out where I wanted them I made sure to have the part with the wreath where the empty spots were so in between each house that's where i wanted to put the um i guess that's the gate i'm not really too sure but i just glued those down into place and then i thought that it was still missing a little something so i did end up gluing some of the fence pieces in between the houses as well and then i filled in those little roads with the rest of my road felt piece from dollar tree Now they did have a different pattern. They did have brick. So I'm not sure is that for the road or is that for something else? I'm not really too sure. I did end up picking that up as well just to have. But for this particular project, I did not think that the brick, the color scheme matched very well. I felt that this stone road looked much better. Once I was done with my road, now I am just adding all of the trees. Originally, I was going to do something different. However, 
Um, I did find that these trees look the best. I also picked up the LED trees. So two of the trees do light up. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I love that this looks totally different. Rather it's lit up or rather the lights are off. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Look how gorgeous this is y'all. I ended up gluing a tree to the back of my truck and I just absolutely love the way that this turned out. I can't wait to hear what y'all think down in the comment section. If nobody has told you today, you guys are absolutely stunning. You're worthy. You're gorgeous. You literally can do anything you set your mind to. And I just want you guys to know how grateful I am to have this community. If it wasn't for you guys, none of this would be possible. And every little thing you guys do really helps my channel to grow like subscribing sharing this out hitting that thumbs up and watching the ads are all of the reasons why my channel is so successful and i just want you guys to know that i am eternally grateful also don't forget if you guys want ketone information on how i just lost 60 pounds in six months or if you guys want to know how to get 40 percent off all chalk couture items let me know text my number the word ketone or the word chalk or just to be a part of the text crew. With that being said, I love y'all so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.